Next up is oral presentation number 23, Burleson, Texas. It's a mission seven flight experiment with fifth grade student researchers. Please note that the agenda lists this team as a finalist proposal team. It is in fact a flight experiment and that information is listed correctly on the selected experiments page on the SSEP website. Hi, my name is Bryson Baker. This is Delaney Story, Kylie Morton, and Wesley Mitchell, and our teacher, Ms. Munt. We are here to study what are the effects of hydrogel polymers when mixed with water in microgravity versus on Earth. We are from Burleson Independent School District, Burleson, Texas, the Academy at Nola Dunn. We are in fifth grade going into sixth. When we first started SSCP, we watched a video where an astronaut rang out water from a washcloth and we thought it would spread everywhere, but it went around his hands. And we thought that was pretty interesting. We wondered about how water is stored, reused, and absorbed. The purpose of this experiment is to observe the effects of polymers and if they will absorb less or more water in microgravity. Polymers are an important material as they are used in a variety of items on Earth. They are used in credit cards, bottles, spandex, eyeglasses, and first aid packs. It is important to study the polymers and their absorption because this will one day help when families are living on the space station and not just astronauts. And it will also help, just in case the water leaks, it will help to not damage any equipment. We propose to answer the question of what hydrogel polymers will do when mixed with water in space. Our team is looking forward to finding out if these polymers will absorb more or less water in a microgravity environment. Our research into polymers has shown us that polymers are capable of absorbing and holding large amounts of water. On Earth, the amount of water absorbed relies on the ability of water to diffuse. Since diffusion is the breaking apart of water molecules, gravity seems to play a large part in the amount of water absorbed. While we think that the water will still be absorbed in space, we believe that the diffusion process will be slower, which would make the amount of water absorbed by the polymers less than the amount absorbed on the Earth. The materials that we used were two grams of hydrogel polymers, we basically just dis dissected a diaper to get the polymers. We used a type 2 FME mini lab tube, two plastic faucet aerator screens by NeoPearl, two milliliters of local Burleson, Texas tap water, three tenths of a gram of a cotton ball. How we put together our tube was, we got the polymers out of a diaper and that was the easiest source of getting the polymers instead of having to break lenses from glasses or getting them out of a credit card. We also measured the cotton ball on the triple beam balance and the water on the triple beam balance. We had to take apart an aerator to get a little screen out of it and cut it to make it fit in the tube. We had to use a paintbrush and a screwdriver to make it fit in the tube. We had to put aerators on both sides just so the polymers didn't get through. And how we got our first aerator screen was from our science lab sink. Our conclusions are we will know the differences in the absorption of the hydrogel polymers in space versus on Earth. So we basically figured out we added water to the hydrogel polymers and we we played with them and we figured out they became a gel. We were quite interested in that. Two, we will compare the retention volume of the polymers in our classroom compared to space. So we weighed the polymers. We're going to weigh the polymers when they get back from the ISS. Three, we will have a better understanding of the behavior of water in a microgravity environment and possibly the working of the water cycle. And we know that the space water cycle is different than the one on Earth, and we have to, we, we want to know how that works too. And four, we believe it is important to understand basic interactions to ultimately live in space for long periods of time. And we'd like to thank all of our sponsors. We'd like to thank mostly Burleson, Texas, Burleson Independent School District, and the SSEP program. Thank you. These uh, young ladies and gentlemen, Fifth, fifth graders, right? I, I'm just amazed. I mean, I, I think back to when I was in fifth grade and the opportunities that, that I had, and I can't remember any opportunities like this. 
And not only to do real research on the International Space Station, but to present at a research conference. I mean, this is really amazing what these students are doing. Just had to add that.